Hello, this is TRJ Audio with a shorter video this time. The other videos I've made have been about soundtracks and this uh, specific video will be more about sound effects. And this one will focus on the Stinger, one of the newer enemies in Deep Rock Galactic. The Stinger I was working on while it wasn't completely done. They were still tweaking the visuals and animations and stuff, but I had a good baseline to work from and then I eventually matched the sound to the finished visuals in the end. And um, I knew that it was going to be a crab-like creature and I knew it would have big horns and stuff. And I knew from the visuals that you couldn't really see its mouth. So I imagined it would kind of whistle or have this high-pitched thing going on, kind of like reindeers when they're in the forest and they make their mating calls and whatever. They have this whale-like whistling quality to them. And that's um, kind of what I wanted to convey or copy-paste, so to speak, and put into DRG and then, of course, have a much more scarier sound to it on top. So that was my kind of my initial thoughts about this creature. Of course, what I'm showing here is just like what I eventually ended up with. There is so much time being spent on stuff that doesn't work. And success is just a matter of failing for X amount of time, pretty much. So um, this is what I did. So this is the sound it makes. So you know that it's going to be grabbing. And the first sound, believe it or not, is actually me scraping the window pane of my shower, a wet shower window pane, with this yeah, bathroom scraping device. <laughs> if I pitch it down to its original state, it will sound like this. Yeah, yeah you could probably tell. <laughs> yeah. That it's just me scraping away. <laughs> and then I pitched it up. And then it sounds animal-like. It sounds almost like a bird call. Perfect for my initial thoughts about the creature. Then we have some elephant. <laughs> Pretty scary sounding elephant. And this is me scraping as well. Sounds like some big huge bird or something. And that's fireworks I recorded New Year's Eve. Which gives it a slimy quality, like sizzling tongue. And then a lion roar. And then that's me scraping the bathroom window again. And with a reverb tail, it sounds like a big, I don't know, some prehistoric bird call or something. And then I put in a real bird sound that I pitched up a lot. And then I had two of them in a row pitched differently. The idea behind the two sounds in succession, the last one uh, pitching up, is that it mimics kind of a, if you have a, in a trailer or whatever, in a movie, you have a riser, like something going from a low pitch to a high pitch, and it's going to sound more and more intense. That was the idea here as well, just with the birds like going, or with this creature going like it was charging up to attack you. So you know like, oh, it's charging up. If it was going into a relaxed state, I could have pretty similar sounds, but it would be in the uh, opposite order, so it would have a high pitch sound first and then a low pitch sound afterwards. And you could hear it kind of calming down. And then on to the next sound, which is the attack sound or the stab sound of the enemy, which is a direct derivative of what I came up with here in, in the beginning for the attack tail sound. So it's pretty much copy and paste, but reordered a bit and pitched a bit and then new sounds on top of that because you want to hear that it's related, it, it should sound like the same creature. So I should be using pretty much the same sound. That's a horse sound, a horse screaming, and then the scrape sound again. And then the scrape sound pitched up an octave, just to give some thickness to it. And then the elephant roar. And elephant again. And next is the death sound of the stinger, which is again a derivative of the first sound I made where I actually found the kind of identity for the creature. So it's the same sounds, but pitched down and manipulated further. So it sounds more slow and like, it's 
Yeah, that's the horse scream from before, just pitched down. <coughs> Elephant roar again, just pitched down. And the scraping thing again. <laughs> octave down and then octave up. And then um, elephant roar again. And here I put in a bird sound. Which had this whimpering, dying sound. Like it just sounds like it's super sad or something. And pain, which is of course what I wanted to convey because it's dying. That's pretty much how I approach doing sound to sound for creatures in general. I make up a main sound that works, and then I take that and add stuff um, and kind of chisel away on it, depending on what the use should be. Should it be sad? Should it die? Should it be attacking? Should it be fleeing? Whatever. So that's it for now, and in case you didn't know, I'll be leaving Deep Rock Galactic to work on new projects, and you can always follow my channel if you want to know more about what I'll be doing in the future. And as always, I'm doing these videos in my spare time. So feel free to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And if you feel like it, you can use the link in the description to go to buy me a pizza and then donate me a pizza or two or whatever you feel like. A million pizzas, please. I also have sound packs for sale to use in Unreal Engine. And as a new bonus thing, I thought it would be fun to add some music that I made 20 years ago, completely DRG unrelated. It doesn't sound like anything remotely that I've done for DRG. So you can check that out as well. Have a great day. Bye bye.